studies, but there is a simple and quick test that could help you from becoming a medical statistic. Dr. Darren Clare is here with his patient, Brigida, and technician, Don, to use a non-invasive, state-of-the-art diagnostic tool. Welcome to you all. Thank you. And what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing an ultrasound of the carotid artery. The carotid artery, it's on both sides of the neck, a very important artery because it supplies blood to your brain. And what we're going to talk about is ultrasound because ultrasounds of the carotid artery can measure intima media thickness as well as look for plaque. Those can, believe it or not, be an early sign of atherosclerosis, which is hardening of your arteries, which, believe it or not, if you see it up here in your neck and your carotid arteries, it can also exist in the arteries that supply your heart muscle, putting you at risk for heart disease. But, Dr. Claire, ultrasound's been around for a long time, so what's unique about this technology? This test, which is the HeartSmart IMT Plus, uh, with the Devo technology in it, just by doing this test in my office, which is safe, quick, uh, you know, totally painless, I can know with a 95% certainty if you have any plaque building up in your heart, what type it is and how severe it is. So, Don, why don't you start imaging Brigitte's carotid artery and we'll look at some images. And so, you're going to hear the phrase IMT, that's intima media thickness, that's basically the thickness of the arterial wall. You don't want it to be too thick because that can be a sign of your increased risk for stroke, heart attack, et cetera. So right now, we're working to get the image of her carotid artery and walk us through what we're seeing, Dr. Claire. Okay, I'd love to, Travis. Right here, you're seeing the carotid artery. We're looking in sort of through the side of a straw. You can see the intima, uh, this fine white line right there, uh, which again is the intima media is where uh, the thickening occurs, which leads to atherosclerosis. Uh, and in certain people leads to plaque formation. And the intima media are, are literally, that's what makes up your arterial wall. Now, we have some images of good arteries versus unhealthy arteries. Show us what we're looking at. Okay, great. This right here is a, a healthy artery. The intima media is right here. It's this fine, inner fine white line. That's what we're measuring. That's where the correlation is. You can see this is a little thick. But very significantly, where the red circle is, uh, this person not only has thickening, they also have a big, nasty plaque sticking into the lumen of the artery. And so what people are looking at there is plaque in the carotid artery, which if it breaks off, it can actually go up to your brain and cause a stroke there as well. So That's right. one of the things that you've done is you've taken images from Brigitte and you've actually mapped them out to give a letter grade. A is good. E is bad, and if you're in, in between there, you have to have some concern. Walk us through this chart. Okay, yeah. The way I like to look, think about it is just like your report card from school, okay? A is, is great. E, I say, go to the emergency room, okay? And a, Brigitte's B, was normal, right? Uh, Brigitte's is totally normal. And secondly, we measured the plaque character. Yeah, because there's not only, there's different types of plaque. There's the soft plaque and the hard plaque. A lot of cardiologists will now tell you that the soft plaque which this test will pick up is actually more dangerous because it's vulnerable. And what, by that, we mean that it's more likely to rupture, uh, causing the problems that we were just talking about. And Brigitte, so, you, you are an A once again on the report okay. card. None yeah. observed, none, mm -hmm. no plaques. And finally, percent stenosis or narrowing of the artery. Yeah, this is an important part of the test. And we can then realize that this person is at an early stage of heart disease and we can then put them on a program to help reverse it and push them back towards A. And this is great takeaway for those of you at home. Heart disease, the number one killer of women. The number one killer of women, also the number one killer of men. And the reason that you do studies like this, if you are at risk, you need to talk with your doctor about getting studies done to figure out how bad your heart disease may be because, believe it or not, you can reverse it with things like your diet. These are great foods, increasing your activity level, simple changes, lowering your blood pressure. These can all help you live a longer, happier, healthier life and reverse the damage of heart disease. Thank you so much, Dr. Claire. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Brigitte.